X, formerly known as Twitter, became the first major social media platform to allow cannabis advertising back in 2023. At the recent recent Benzinga Cannabis Capital Conference, Alexa Aliano, X's lead for cannabis sales and partnerships, discussed the impact of this policy shift and the lessons learned since its implementation. In a quote, she says, We started pretty conservatively, saying, okay, brand preference and informational content is allowed across any category, Alexa said. She explained that the approach was to introduce the the policy gradually, allowing room for adjustments based on industry needs. This measured measured strategy enabled uh, Twitter to maintain compliance while supporting cannabis brands as they seek to engage with users. Supporting cannabis brands and conversations, Alexa highlighted that X's primary success lies in creating a safer space for public dialogue about cannabis. In a quote, she says, we support these companies in driving business outcomes, she said, noting the importance of connecting with hundreds of millions of users. The platform not only aids brands in advertising, but also encourages broader public conversations about cannabis without the risk of account shutdowns like what we see on meta alexa emphasized that this inclusive approach benefits the entire industry as information sharing is critical to advancing cannabis acceptance and in a quote with regard to cannabis which is a largely underserved public conversation people can come and learn learn what's happening in the industry and connect with it she noted X's vision for the future of cannabis marketing, well, they say looking ahead, Alexa believes that X will play a vital role in shaping the digital marketing for cannabis businesses. In a quote, she says, we're just this destination for free expression and information sharing, she said. The platform aims to remain a hub for users seeking real-time updates and news about cannabis and cannabis developments. And Alexa also expressed hope that uh, that X's involvement can inspire more optimism in the cannabis sector. In a quote, she says, I hope that people can take away that, you know, someone is working at this platform and that supports the industry, she said. X's cannabis advertising policy is not only a business move, but a step toward normalizing the conversation around cannabis. And as Alexa put it in a quote, she says, it's our responsibility to hold space for that and be a platform for that free dialogue. The company's continued efforts reflect a commitment to supporting the growth of the cannabis industry by facilitating a more open dialogue on its platform, you guys. Well, 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 I will say that Twitter or X is a safe space and a great place to be overall and you don't have to worry about your account getting deleted and all of that and much love and thank you to all of the people working over there at x and twitter we appreciate you and this is jason beck for the high at nine news what do y'all have to say about this there's a distinct difference between commercial speech in the cannabis space and just discussions about cannabis and i'd like to keep them separate because if you're gonna you know advertise your company then I think that there can be some limits on free speech because it's commercial speech. I mean, my little granddaughter loves Bluey. I would not want you advertising Bluey brand for, um, you know, on, on any of these networks. But the discussions about cannabis, uh, we have a First Amendment for a reason in this country. People have a right to speak their piece, say what they want to say, even if it's stupid and if it's roundly criticized. We still have a right to do that. So, you know, I give props to any any platform that will allow you to speak your piece, to be, you know, confronted with other, you know, people's opinions and have to flesh that out totally. Um, commercial is a little bit different, but I still think there needs to be more platforms for commercial speech about cannabis where you don't get, you know, axed out and, and prevented from doing this just because you're advertising a business. I 100% agree with all of that, man. I think it was just common sense. It was a common sense move by Twitter. Um, I wish Meta would follow suit, drop your shadow bans, and just, you know, 
get with the program. It makes yeah. no sense at all. I, I, I'm with you on that too, Stone. I, I I agree with you, but I am glad that that Twitter has this policy. I do wish, though, however, that that Twitter would uh, unblock hashtag 420, though, because that that is still uh, you can't use hashtag 420. It doesn't it doesn't activate as a hashtag on their site, and I find that kind of interesting that they haven't fixed that on on their platform yet. You know who's found their new, new home on X or Twitter or X? Who's that, Jenny Beth? Our good friend Elliot Lewis is popping his shit over there on X, and that's he seems right. to be having a good time. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. Weed for the people, you guys. I'm not mad at that. Mm-hmm. Not mad at that at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, no. that's what the First Amendment's all about, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's controversy. Elliot's taking it right to the controversy. I don't think we should be stifling that. We need more honest discussion and have people come back with objective, factual responses and not just name calling and try to figure this stuff out. Mm-hmm. I, that's that's one of the foundation principles of our country. Even if you're full of shit, you have a right to say what you want to say. Mm-hmm. And you should not be stifled for it. Exactly. Exactly. You have any thoughts on this, Rochelle? The Twitter being such a free space for people to say what they want to say? It makes sense. Do I think that the cannabis community is going to be flocking there? Probably not. Yeah, I feel you. It's, it's, if Elliot's there, then maybe, because everyone wants to know what he has to say. Yeah. So it's, it's it's a work in progress. And, uh, and, and again, thank you to all the people over there at X and uh, Twitter. We do appreciate it. Elon, give us a call. We definitely want to have you on the show at some point. 